Greetings Mafia. This video is a response to a couple of guys who sent me PMs regarding a question about how come the woman they're interested in don't give him any attention even though they have their shit together you know they got you know they look good they're in shape they're young they have decent jobs can't say they're millionaires but they don't live with their parents anymore they got their own cars you know they pay the rent the whole nine yards yet women who they find attractive don't seem to appreciate that they don't even follow the rules of hypergamy instead they go for the guys who are really on a lower scale so to speak and as you can tell by the question, these guys are blue pills, maybe purple pills at best. But anyway, if I can help any man out, I'll do it. Now I assume we're talking about women age 25 to 40. And the key thing is they don't even follow the rules of hypergamy. I mean, you're better looking, you're making decent money, got your shit together. And most importantly, you're ready for much more serious commitment than the guys they're currently dating. So it doesn't make much sense to you. Well, it doesn't make sense, but you got to understand something. Women have been infantilized by feminism, especially by their mothers. And the same goes for the simps. I'm going to get to that later. But to make you understand what I'm talking about, we need to go back 30 or 40 years when their mothers were in their prime. I'm talking about late 70s and 80s. You see, it's really in those years uh, what we now call second wave feminism start taking off. It still did took off, the wheels were still rolling on the ground, but their mothers were the foot soldiers, they were forerunners of everything we see today, and they brainwashed both their daughters and sons in believing different fairy tales about life. And also they led by example, after they divorced their fathers, they uh, let them believe that the father is really a monster, or at least ungrateful for everything he's got from her. The MGTOWs know what I'm talking about. So with this second generation, we have a female nature mixed up with sitcoms and romantic comedies that their mothers make them believe are real. And if you want an example of that, look no further than Pretty Woman. I mean, that movie is still considered to be one of the most viewed romantic comedies of all times. While reality is more simple, it's basically plain physics, cause and effect. For every action, there is a reaction, but that's not what their mothers taught them. They infantilized them into believing that, yes, the fairy tales are real, you need to believe in unicorns, love, all that bullshit. And they just threw logic out a window. So the only women now, the second generation, who actually follow the pattern of hypergamy are gold diggers. I mean, let's be honest about it. If that wasn't true, you wouldn't have women that are in their late 30s who are still looking hot being single and better. And let's be honest about it. Many MGTOWs are saying that, you know, women hit wall when they're 25. That's bullshit, okay? There are women in their 40s that look hot as hell. And when a guy says that he's really bitter he's really angry okay because women don't hit the wall in their 20s they, they hit the wall in their late 30s like i said they're hot women that are in their 40s you know depending on a woman how much she takes care of herself and the whole thing and as we all know we have you know single mothers in their 30s looking hot as hell which is why you need to watch out you know because many of those single mothers are still looking good they take care of themselves they're going to you know aerobics at the gym you gotta watch out for that shit like I said, keep away from women, period, but especially stay away from those single mothers because they are pretending to be in the walls. They have the best in the wall camouflage you can think of. For those of you who don't know what in the wall is, it's a short for not all women are like that. And this is why I keep beating that drum. Stay away from the walls. Be especially aware of the walls because they are trapped. They know how to set up a trap and eventually you end up paying for somebody else's kid. Okay? So, you need to watch out, and I'm gonna keep on saying that. Now, let's go back to the topic at hand. You gotta understand that the women you guys are talking about are completely fucking infantilized, okay? They don't really know what's going on, they have no real picture of reality until the reality comes down crashing, and it's gonna happen somewhere around you know, when they reach 40, 42 or something, when they look around see they got shit to show for. But, like I said before, women ain't wise. They ain't gonna say, okay, I need to put my shit together, I need to understand what's going on in my life, I need to improve my game. No, that's not what they're gonna say. They're gonna emerge themselves deeper into feminism and bitterness and hate more and more. Eventually, they'll start hating themselves every time they look in the mirror and see they are getting more and more wrinkles on their face. So, they're not gonna learn anything. 
Women can be deceptive and cunning, but they're never going to be wise. Okay, wisdom is not part of a female nature. You need to understand that too. Now, let me talk about the Sims, who are also raised by these single mothers in their, you know, back in the 70s and 80s. Now, every Sim believes he's a Prince Charming. Okay, you need to understand that about Sims. Everything believes he's a Prince Charming because that's what his mother taught him to be. That's what his mother led him to believe he is, actually. You know, he thinks that he's got all the good qualities, he's a perfect gentleman, he knows how to treat a woman, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, he needs to be submissive. He's going to kiss an ass just to get a little bit of a pussy fart, okay? He's going to throw his dignity away. I talked about it in my previous video. He's going to do everything. And even being aggressive towards other men, you know, other men who actually stand up for themselves. He's going to be aggressive just to prove he's the Prince Charming because he needs to believe that he is that Prince Charming in order to justify why he is acting the way he does. He knows deep down inside he's like acting like a pussy. He's not really acting like a man, but his mother led him to believe that this is how a man is supposed to behave. Okay? So, uh, don't try to make those women understand what's really going on those cats are lost okay now my advice to you is don't even pay attention to those bitches focus on yourself and uh, even better take the the red pill and who knows if you're lucky someday you're gonna become a black pill like yours truly over here <laughs> now last but not least uh angry mctow is back my boy angry mctow is back he is um making new videos and he asked me to do a collaboration video another collaboration video we already did once I'm sorry, we did two collaboration videos back in the day. And the topic was uh, Blue Pill Men Who Fear MGTOW. Well, here's my response to that. I don't really think they fear MGTOW. I think Red Pill and a Black Pill really makes them feel uncomfortable because it's a wake-up call. And we're talking some rude awakening here. It takes them out of their comfort zone because they enjoy being in an echo chamber. And with both Red Pill and a Black Pill, this really makes them self-reflect and it's rarely a pleasant experience so even for those who are now MGTOWs or even black pills when they look back in the days when they have to self-reflect and realize they've been lied to all along that's not a pleasant experience and it's not for everyone but anyway this was my black pill take on this issue this is top dollars signing off